A local family narrowly escapes with their lives when their home in Dunwoody exploded with everything they owned inside lost in the fire. But two years after that explosion, Caitlin Ross reports there is no accountability and no answers. And tonight only on 11 Alive, who pays when lives are destroyed? In this whole area right over here. The Ito family is trying to build new memories. Let's get some big hugs, baby girl. Reframing their neighborhood after theirs was destroyed. I need people to, to be angry about this because it can happen to anybody. The home going up in Dunwoody used to be theirs. He says now they can't afford to live there. People are going to be living here, and yet we're still living out of duffel bags. He says they had to replace everything they owned out of pocket. So did their neighbor, Sybil Williams. It's, it's sickening. It's very sickening to see this. And I haven't had anything rebuilt or, or restored or refurbished. It's a lot of damage. I mean, the building is um, pretty much gone. Days before Christmas 2020, the unthinkable happened. Their homes at Dunwoody Apartments destroyed by an explosion linked to a gas leak. He says they were left with nothing. It makes us feel very angry and helpless. I'm telling you now that there is nobody looking out for you. 11 Alive obtained this preliminary report from the Georgia Public Utility Commission, finding pain drilling and Atlanta Gaslight responsible for the explosion. Investigators recommend fining Atlanta Gaslight more than half a million dollars for alleged safety violations tied to the explosion. But Ito says his family hasn't gotten a cent from the utility. You're just left on your own with the hopes that you'll just go away. I can't go away. This is my life. Eli says he's been calling the utility company every day for the last two years and can't get any answers. He says he was told if he wanted to get the utility to pay, he'll need to sue. Paperwork filed by Atlanta Gaslight shows he's facing down a dozen lawyers alone. In a statement, Atlanta Gaslight told 11 Alive it disagrees with the report from the Georgia Public Utility Commission and that the report is not final. The hardest part has been the feeling that nobody cares. The Ito family says this can't be allowed to happen to anyone else. They want to build a framework of responsibility. I know the world isn't fair, but this is not right. This is just not right. Atlanta Gaslight told 11 Alive pain drilling was responsible for the explosion. No one at pain drilling would talk to us, and that company is now out of business. The Georgia Public Utility Commission should make their final ruling soon.